What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to set up JSON Web Tokens authorization in our GraphQL server in Golang. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. On a previous video that you can find here at the top right corner, we created a JSON Web Token middleware and a JSON Web Token service that we can see here. This is the service and this is the middleware. And here is the place where we applied that middleware here. So this authorization middleware is going to be executed every time that we call each of these endpoints of our REST API. And what I did was this one. I extracted this service and I published that service here. I create this new project in a public repository. And here is some documentation, really basic. And now I can use this library like this importing this package. And if we go to the GraphQL project, I am using that service from this middleware. So here I'm importing that library. And here I'm calling the service. I'm passing the issuer, the secret, and the expiration time. Here I'm validating the token that I'm going to receive as part of the header. And here I'm printing the claims just to check that everything is working as I expect. And also to validate that I am receiving a valid JSON web token. In case the header is empty or the token is not valid, I'm going to return a 401 and I'm going to prevent to proceed with the operation. And here, if we go to the server, our GraphQL server, here is the endpoint that I'm going to use to apply this middleware here. So as you remember, we have two operations. We have, if we go to the resolvers here, we have two operations. We have a mutation to create videos and another operation that is a query to get the list of existing videos. So if we run this, And now let's run this mutation. I'm going to open the Chrome DevTools so we can see some requests here. And as we can see here, this is going to execute this query endpoint. And we're gonna find that we are getting this 401 because we are not sending any JSON web tokens. So I'm going to start an authorization server that is actually the server that we created as part of the Shin HTTP framework crash course. I'm going to open that project. I'm going to run this server so I can use it as an authentication server using JWT. So this is go run main.go. So I'm going to call this endpoint. This is going to generate a JSON web token using the same secret key and the same signing algorithm and issuer that I'm going to use in the GraphQL server. So I'm going to receive a token from this service and I'm going to be able to use it in our GraphQL server. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's call this endpoint. Okay, as you may remember, we only have one user that is this user with username pragmatic and the password reviews. So I'm going to call this endpoint and I'm going to receive this token here. So I'm going to grab this token and let's go to the GraphQL server. And here I'm going to use that JSON web token. I can pass it here. Here I can pass query variables. Here I can pass query variables or I can pass HTTP headers like this. Here I have to use a JSON format. So here I need to pass this authorization header. And here I'm going to paste the JSON web token. I'm going to add quotes to it. And now I'm able to run this query. I forgot to add better here. And now I should be able to run this successfully. Yeah. Okay, now I'm able to create videos. And what happens if, let's open the Chrome DevTools. What happens if I change this token? As we can see, I'm getting a 401 
And if I run this here, I'm going to receive a 401 and I won't be able to proceed with the operation. If I remove this value, I'm going to be able to execute query again here. Here I get that 200. And the same for find videos. If I run this query, I need to pass. Yes, I'm getting a 401, a 401 because I need to use the same token. So I'm going to grab it from here. Let's close this. I'm going to grab this authorization header from here. I'm going to paste it here. And now I should be able to run the query. And that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.